Now that's the way you start a tea party. Okay, our next speaker is um, hoping to represent District 4, which is currently held by Representative David Price. His name is Jim Allen. He says that he plans to walk the entire 4th District in North Carolina to meet everyone he can in person and to see the reality of their situations. Jim stands for low taxes and limited government. He believes that a strong economy is the best hope for those in poverty and the middle class. And he believes that our current representatives sat back and did nothing, allowing our economy to collapse. So Jim Allen states that he will be the strongest voice in all of Congress and put people over politics every single time. Please welcome 4th District candidate Jim Allen. Hello. I hope everybody's good today. We've got some beautiful weather. Uh, I'm not a professional politician, uh, nor do I choose to be. I'm going to briefly uh, try to go into some personal circumstances I believe are warranted today. Uh, many of you may have seen the news and seen this morning that the uh, President's Secret Service detail has kind of, I'll say, gotten busted in Cartagena, Colombia. Well, what got me on this quest to run for office was my two and a half year old child being abducted in Colombia, South America. I crossed three states after being stabbed and robbed of every penny I had, or should I say every peso. The Secret Service has sat down there and beat down, kicked in Colombian doors, but they're not going to help a U.S. citizen down there. It's time we wake up. The federal government is putting its hands all over everywhere that it should not, and it's not putting its hands on anything it should. Now, if you look down in front of me, look at that. I'm sick and tired of it. Don't tread on me. Our children's futures are being sold out, and on, and on, and on. I walked across these three states to Obama's office in Bogota, Colombia. I got told I couldn't even enter the embassy. I was there at 9.30 with 102 degree temperature after a 21 day walk. I'm gonna tell you something. I said, well, you let prostitutes inside of the embassy because as most of you do not know, this was all over Latin American television at the time, but they would not let a U.S. citizen inside of that embassy. I could go on and on. I could talk to you about $67 million being thrown in the garbage can every single year to the IMF to prop up the Euro. I could tell you about $7,500 going to every single person that purchases an electric car totally manufactured in Japan. Don't forget this fourth district. David Price is the most liberal Democrat in North Carolina. A lot of people have thought mistakenly that they're still in or in the newly redesigned 13th district They've been finding out here recently by the hundreds that they're in my district. I live in this district. I am being barraged by television commercials, or soon to be television commercials, and radio commercials. $10,000 here, $20,000 there, from a gentleman that doesn't even live in this district. The arrogance has to stop Congressional seats are not for sale. One of the major promises that I can give you, other than being a conservative fighter, I promise that I will have the number one constituent services, not in North Carolina, not out of these representatives, in the country. Put your efforts into this fourth district 
I am the only candidate that can go head to head with David Price, bar none. I have extensive Latin American experience with USAID, and boy, oh boy, do I have a continued story to tell. Our table's in the back. We desperately need all of your help. Please come in, get with us. We need volunteers. We need donations. We need any help that you could possibly provide. And I thank you so very much, and God bless each and every one of you. I, w I wanna say one more thing. If any of you end up having a problem, I don't care what district you live in, if I'm elected, if your representative will not come to your rescue, not get in front of you, I promise you I will. To heck with the system. To heck with it. Thank you very much.